So today, what are we gonna do? It's Sunday. I hope everybody's having a good Sunday. We're gonna make, well actually we're in the kitchen today. We're not cooking, but we're making the foundation to all Caribbean kitchen. So we're gonna make green seasoning, but we gotta get everything ready. And then what's green seasoning? Some people don't know what's green seasoning. Maybe in your country they make green seasoning, right? Uh, they do, but they're mostly like kind of like make everything as they go like they add like, i guess the cilantro and everything kind of like while they're cooking they don't like pre-mix it okay. i'm just getting all the stuff from the fridge because i'm collecting green seasoning supplies so each for the people who don't know all caribbean home has an unmarked container in the fridge full of green seasoning blended up so that's what we're gonna do today. I'm completely out. And green seasoning, like I told you guys, is the foundation of all Caribbean cooking. And this is the stuff that you ordered that yeah. came with the food the other day, right? Yeah, some of it I ordered, some of it I had. Oh, God. And my container that I use, this might be a lot actually. I usually put it in here. Yeah, I mean, that looks like you're going to supply green seasoning to a whole restaurant or something. It still smells. Maybe you guys got smell vision, but this smells like green seasoning. <laughs> but what I'm gonna do is put all these things in my uh, basin, other than that's big bowl. Mm, that smells good already. You just, oh, you just open that bag it and smells it smells right? really good, yeah. So the way I do it, you gotta wash all these things. So I just get a big bucket with some vinegar water and then you just put your water right here. Put a little vinegar. What does that do? It's just to clean all the stuff. And I'm just gonna let it sit in there for a little bit while I'm cutting doing the garlic because you got I put garlic in my onion too. So this is the Sunday preparation. So does that mean I'm getting a Sunday Caribbean meal? <laughs> well, Jonathan cooked yesterday, so he cooked some really good pasta. That was like a snack. And um, he cooked yesterday, but today, because I'm out of green seasoning, I'm going to be doing this. So I can fuel up. Nice and fresh green seasoning. Uh, what is that? Uh, parsley? That's cilantro. Cilantro? Uh, that's cilantro. Okay. That's good enough. So mine's I'm gonna so everybody does theirs different. So my I should keep one cilantro if we cook regular stuff, right? Huh? Yeah. Um everybody, every um Caribbean ladies or guys, whatever, they um do their own seasoning different, they'll put different things in it. This is what I put in mine. So I put cilantro. My poor bandana got blue stuff. This is um, Recal, I think you call it in Spanish, or Culantro, I put that in there. But this is the one that I ordered from all from one supplier, so you guys can see there's like little bruises here and there. So you'll just fish out the bad ones, like whatever's bruised, you'll just take it out. And then what else, I have peppers, you'll put, and it's usually green, green seasoning. What are you fighting there? There's a fly that tried to attack me. <laughs> and you uh, put all the green stuff. So this is peppers, uh, green onions, uh, basil. I put basil in mine. Thyme. I put thyme in mine. Garlic and onion. And that's for, it. For how long? Well, I'm just going to put these in here so they could just sit in there while I... No, you say you put thyme in yours. For how long? <laughs> Um, yeah, but while I'm letting that sit and in there, I'll just do the garlic. I'll probably get Zaya to come garlic. in. Garlic. Garlic. So yeah, this is the process. I get all my green seasoning. Whatever's not good, I dump it. Like you see these bruised up ones? They're not going to be good because they're going to spoil your green seasoning like really quick. Good. 
And then uh, for the people who don't cook with green seasoning, this is like our foundation. Like I told you guys, every Caribbean household has a little container in the fridge full of green seasoning. And anytime you cook, uh, you'll season your food with it, you'll cook with it. Um, if you're doing meats, you can season it in advance and then put it in the fridge so it marinates in the seasoning. But this is pretty much the foundation in every Caribbean household. You have to have green seasoning. Um, and then this is just my way of doing it. And some people put ginger, some people put um, powder seasoning. I know some people put like uh, sopita, the chicken bouillon. They put that in there. I know some people put like tomatoes and onion. All kinds. Of, yeah, I put onion in mine. But like it really depends on how you like yours. Um, you put whatever you think you want to taste in there. How long, Celery, do you, how long can you store for like after you make it? Because this is going well, to be quite a... When I blend it, I put vinegar in it. Mm -hmm. So the vinegar helps it to last a little longer. It preserves it? Yeah, I use it really quickly. So because we cook, when I have this made, I cook a lot. So usually I'll, this won't really last that long. But it'll finish quick. Because we cook a lot. We eat a lot, as you can tell. By our weight. I don't know what are you talking about. I don't nobody knows my weight. My weight is is funny. Sometimes you know what? Actually, let me tell these people. One on some of the videos you're gonna see me skinny. On some of the videos I'm gonna be fat. So <laughs> my weight is always up and down. So um, then you know Caribbean people are gonna say what? They're gonna text me and say what kind of tablet are you taking to lose the weight so fast? <laughs> or what what surgery did I go and do? I'm not doing no surgery, I'm not taking no tablet. It's just that when we lose weight, we do, well, I, I do drastic weight loss because I starve myself. <laughs> I do starvation diet but, and eat rabbit food. But. You mean you do a lot of fasting? It's called starvation <laughs> diet. <laughs> in my eyes. So you put in? The bell peppers. Some bell peppers. Yeah, I put bell peppers in mine. Some people don't mm -hmm. put bell peppers, but. I put that. Mm -hmm. So everything you see in here, this cubanelle pepper you could put. And then when I'm done with my garlic, because by the time I'm done with my garlic, this is just gonna be sitting in here. I probably need more water. By the time I'm done with like peeling the garlic, and then it'll be time to blend everything up. And then I also want to show you guys one of our drinks from French Guiana. So I usually see people put stuff from Guyana and stuff from Trinidad, but nobody ever shows you like the rum from my country. So actually, um, your country has a different rum too. Your country has Brugal. Well, we got Brugal, Barcelo. Well, wow. we don't have any of that here right now, so I can't show you guys. But I do have some French Guiana rum, so I'm gonna show you guys that. This one I'm gonna keep. So this is what you do when you're in a Caribbean household and you ran out of all your seasoning. You gotta make a huge batch of seasoning. And usually, um, a Sunday in a Caribbean household is a it's like a Thanksgiving. So there's usually a lot of food on Sunday. You have family coming over to eat. We're loners, we don't have like family close besides Jonathan's brother. He's like not too far, but we don't really get together all the time because gas is expensive. <laughs> How much you pay a gallon right now? Almost four dollars, like three ninety. So the as of today. To drive. We live far from not far far, but we live a good distance from like the city area. So we don't really, if we gotta drive, it's like an hour to drive to him. So we don't go all the time. We try to visit once in a while, they come over once in a while. But it's far to drive and to waste gas to go there. You know, when you're young, you don't think about wasting gas, <laughs> right? Yeah, when you don't have Enjoy to, when you ask everywhere. your parents for, for gas money, you it's easy. You ride everywhere, you don't um, worry about gas. But when you gotta buy the gas yourself, <laughs> then you can't be joyriding everywhere. 
But back to the rum. So my country has a rum. Um, if you could show them the bottle. Or the thing you can bring it from. So my country has a rum called Belle Cabresse. So you're gonna see the bottle. Jonathan's gonna bring it. She have a little one, new one, and she has a open one. Is this part of the green seasoning recipe thing you're doing? Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be part of my green seasoning. But I'm gonna make a drink with this in a few minutes, so you guys can see how how to. Do. Well, I'm gonna make it the way my the way I remember my dad making it, because that's like a thing like the older generation drinks. You know, us new generation, we like cocktails with mint, like mojitos and margarita and stuff like that. But the older folks, they used to drink simple stuff. It's just rum, rum and coke, or that thing that I'm gonna um, show you guys in a second. But yeah, a lot of people don't know French Guiana stuff, so I wanna share like a little bit of French Guiana stuff. Oh, I actually need a lime. I got hungry while making the video, so Shamin is fixing me something to snack on. Typical dining snack. Bread and roll. So what do you eat on a Sunday in your house in DR? Like when you were a kid, what did they cook on Sunday? Not really a lot of difference to what they would cook every day. There wasn't really? Sunday meal was not like a, a thing you just Sunday eat every day. Like Sunday, they make like macaroni, they make stewed chicken, curry, dal, whatever. Like if you went to your grandma house or your aunt house or whatever, you have like a whole stove full of stuff. Dal puri they will make on um, Sundays. Mm. Now in DR, it's kind of like the same thing. Sometimes if family will get together, it will be a bigger okay. meal if there was like a get together. But other than that, it's not really a lot of difference. And um, like Sundays, usually you go to the beach too. Like some families, they spend the day at the beach, and then you will cook. You want red bread? No, that's fine. Just this? Mm -hmm. It's okay. Oh, let me have some of the small little um, salami things. Salami. What's the other rum? The the one at the bottom, the, the little one. Salami? The little one. This? Yeah, she doesn't. Yeah. She doesn't. Yeah, she doesn't like those. I don't like those ones. I like the big ones. Okay, let me make some of this drink. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this drink. If I can remember, I'm using Jonathan's whiskey glass. But I think the way my dad made it was the wine first. Hope so. Nice lime. I got lucky. Usually the limes are all dry these days. So you would just put your lime in here, dump it. This is what the drink that big man drinks. <laughs> um, you know, growing up, my dad used to give us a little sip of this thing. <laughs> but it's like I was seeing anything. I think they, they give. So it's 50% alcohol. And it's made in my country, French Guiana. It's not really much detail. This label is very simple. But you guys can see that somebody's been in this bottle. <laughs> but no, I, if for my, um, how you call it? In my um, defense, I use this to make pina colada too. <laughs> I put it in there, to, in the pina colada. So you put your lime, and then I think you put your sugar. A little bit of sugar, I don't want that much sugar. A little bit of sugar. And then, I don't think I have a shot glass ready here. Let me see if I can find one. Shot of rum, and they usually say when you're sick, 
you can drink this and stuff like it helps but i think that's like a thing caribbean say whenever you say drink some rum that's an excuse to drink to drink right i feel so too <laughs> and then you put your rum in there i like ice to make it like a little cool i don't think this is gonna work. give it a little stir this thing is strong I'm smelling that thing and I'm already getting drunk with it. What is it? I'm just smelling that thing and I'm already getting drunk. <laughs> yeah, you can't be drinking it all the time. It's just like a Sunday thing. Isn't it cute? It should be a, a bartender. But this is my country's rum, French Guiana rum. For those who don't know, French Guiana does have their rum. It's not that popular. And then Jonathan wants cola champagne. Yeah, cola champagne, so. But this is our Sunday. Well, I didn't decide yet if I'm gonna cook once I finish with the green seasoning, if I'm gonna make anything. But cheers, you guys. In French Guiana, they'll say chin chin or they'll say a la santé. Thank God for the sugar, because if it wasn't sugar in there, I would die with this thing. Mm. Takes me right back to French Guiana. <laughs> and I, didn't, I left French Guiana when I was 13, so I didn't drink this when I was... Well, I took sips of my dad one, but I didn't drink like <laughs> an, an actual, like... I drink like that. But this is uh, our cocktail, not cocktail. I said, what would you call it? Like our shot? Like our countries like rum drink and um, we're gonna peel garlic onion and then when I finish getting everything ready I'll come back here and then blend it up for you guys see you just now <sighs> I hate doing this part but you gotta do it you gotta put garlic it can't be any human in this world that doesn't like garlic <laughs> the more garlic the better I don't like garlic. There you go. Your little human doesn't. She don't know what she does. <laughs> She's still too little to understand the powerful and she didn't help of the garlic it. flavor. Garlic is a must. <laughs> yeah. But I was thinking while I was peeling this, so um, Dominican people, they have sofrito. That's what they call their green seasoning, right? Mm -hmm. And um, Puerto Rican maybe is the same thing. But well, Guyanese and Trinis, I know for sure it's just green seasoning and just blend up. Then like I was telling you, every household will do it different because they're going to put different things in there. So however you want to do it, you can do it. I think like to have the basic will be cilantro because most places you won't find the culantro or the recaito or whatever you call, call the little green thing that I showed you guys. Um, we call it bandania or um, like those things. It's like a stronger cilantro. If people don't know what it is, it's just like a very strong cilantro herb tasting thing. So if you don't have that, you just use cilantro, onion, garlic, like your basic stuff. Um, I don't know what uh, American people use. Like they'll just use like maybe onion and garlic stuff like that but with the Caribbean people we use green seasoning and you just blend it up and you always have it ready when you gotta season your meat and stuff you just put a little bit uh, dash in a little bit of that in there our well, garlic mission is done now we gotta start blending so you guys we got a helper to welcome back first of all we got a helper to make the green seasoning <laughs> and then put your peppers so we're gonna do it in batches you can add a little bit of water a little bit of vinegar no 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 <laughs> how are you gonna put that in there you silly thing 
Put your peppers in there. One by one? No, take as much as you can and dump it in there. The only amount I can is if one. If I wait for her to do anything, I'm going to be here all year. Put my onion in there too. Careful, jump. Now touch your eyes with them. I'll go wash them. And blend. There's no science to it, you just have to blend it up until everything's blended and then you bottle it. So, and if you need to add up a little bit of water, a little bit of vinegar, you do that. First batch done. And I'll just put it in my bowl back here. Then after we'll put it in the containers. Why does it look white? <coughs> and garlic. It's mm -hmm. white ingredients. It looks like milky. Okay. And then it gets green when we use it though. Well, because I didn't put the green stuff yet. Mm. You can use that this is just vinegar. I just put a little bit of vinegar in the water. The help is here. She touched one onion and had to go and wash her hands. So y'all know it's definitely safe to eat food from Saya. She's a very clean girl. <laughs> you know, I always wonder, like people, I know you gotta wash your hands and whatever, but some people like in the, in the videos, they will say, I wash my hand guys, just to make sure. Don't think I didn't wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> of course you wash your head, you're cooking for your family. But I guess some people comment, hey, you didn't wash your hand, but you cook it for your family. Sure, if onions actually have germs, when you just touch them. I wash my hands just to make sure. Round million and one. So how often do you do this? Whenever I done up green seasoning. This is gonna last a good few months. Months? You should just dump it in. So? No, you should not put your hand in. Just drop you it. You can because that's too heavy. And like I said, you guys, every Caribbean home has a little unmarked container in the fridge with green seasoning. In it. <laughs> and this is what you'll yes. use to season your meats. Season your food up. Small hand. This is what makes Caribbean cooking different. It's all in the blender. Guys, here goes the labor of my love, all in this nice big bucket, <laughs> also known as basin. But once you finish blending, you get your handy dandy container. <laughs> she is so silly, y'all. And you pack it on in. And then I might have to get a different container to put the extra, but this is gonna get used in no time. 
especially when you cook a lot and you don't buy outside food. You know, the American life, you buy outside food, you buy McDonald's, <laughs> Burger King, like this little picnic here, she wants Shake Shack. Yeah, yeah I love Shake Shack, it's the best. She wants um, Chili's Molten Cake. <laughs> yeah, I miss that. <laughs> But there's nothing like your home cooked food and if you have a good foundation, which is green seasoning, it will lash up good. It looks like it might fit everything. So this is a 44 ounce container, just to give you an idea. Are you going to post the details? Okay, so, so I put what? Cilantro, culantro, bell peppers, whatever peppers you could find. Um, thyme and basil to me those are my two most important ones like don't make it without those two you have to put thyme you have to put basil I think that's good for that one and then this is probably gonna get used this week <laughs> um, it's just like enough for like like when you season your meat you'll just use like a little bit like that like a handful like that so yeah you put in all the stuff you saw whatever you find in your grocery that's green, that's the key word, because it's mostly green stuff. The onion and the garlic is the only uh, two that are not green. Let me see if I can find a container for the rest of it. Yeah. Probably put it in this. In this too big. Could probably put it in here. And we'll use this this week. I'm so sorry, I can't play my tab right now. Nothing. Guy, what's your favorite? <laughs> what's your favorite food? Uh, my favorite snack, you know, is malt cake, you know. No, like home I food. What's your favorite home food? Not outside food, not rice and beans. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's the Dominican in her. Rice and beans. No roti? You don't like roti? I do like the roti and the sauce and the chicken. Uh -huh. That's my second. But rice and beans is your number one. Yeah. I wonder where did she get that from? You are your dad's child. <laughs> But, yeah, so this is it. I wouldn't have to order um, from the supplier if my friends and family would make me a little box from, you know, Queens and <laughs> <laughs> them rats. They don't want to make me a little. Oh, no, man. I used to a little box of things for me with provision and fish and stuff. But there you go. Two things of green seasoning. Two. All right, so we'll, we'll post it. Next video we're going to post is going to be actually using the seasoning. Cooking with green seasoning, yeah. I might season so. like something to make quick just so you guys have an idea. But yeah, so this is my process for my green seasoning. I got two containers out of it. One here. This is not Nesquik. <laughs> it's not chocolate in here. But you hear that? It is green. It's green seasoning. It's green chocolate. That's a nice one, green chocolate. So, um, if anybody wants has questions or whatever, you not you guys know how to find me. That one eight hundred find champ. <laughs> it would be crazy if we couldn't. But yeah, talk. so you guys, if you have questions, comment, like, subscribe, share, all the good stuff, and then this is it for my green season. I hope everybody has a good Sunday. See you on the next one.